Hello there and welcome! Today we have something very special. This is a mod by Luigi0121 and it replaces a couple of bosses in the data arenas. So this is usually Marluxia, but not anymore. Now we're facing Darkseid from Kingdom Hearts 0.2. Also, you have so many health bars, my word. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I wasn't expecting the plus 29, but yeah, no, this is crazy. Yeah, I was not expecting to uh, see 0.2 bosses in the game. This is really cool. Um, there are two others here. Um, oh, we're obviously going to go ultimate. Uh, just, just to speed the process along, I think, more than anything. Um, yeah, we've also got two other bosses. Uh, the... Um, Demon Tide replaces Xehanort, and Anti-Aqua replaces uh, Larxene. Uh, I don't think it replaces the arena, um, but it's super, super cool. Um, so, yeah, I, I love this. This this kind of stuff is excellent. Um, I mean, yeah, this, this isn't a particularly difficult boss, especially since... I'm kind of overpowered, um, but you know, like it's it's really cool to see the 0.2 stuff can indeed be put in the game. I think this has been known for a while, but it's more just quite challenging to uh, to make it work competently. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing how this evolves. Personally, um, sure, why not? Let's let's just not embarrass ourselves. <laughs> Imagine if I died; wouldn't that be awful? I lost the dark side of all things. Now, depending on which version of Anti-Aqua this is gonna be, this could be scary. Also, I realise I may have just said Anti-Aqua. Oh, my good old Aunt Aqua, you know. Just gonna destroy my Aunt Aqua, as, as you do on a casual Sunday evening. Aunt Aqua's been a bit naughty recently, so I'm gonna have to pierce her heart with a keyblade. Don't mind me, just a regular family gathering, you know. What's that crazy Aunt Aqua going to do this time? No, don't. Don't. I, I refuse to lose. Like, I know I have loads of health left, but I refuse now. We've got two bars left on this very easy fight. Yay! Shall we do Demon Tide, or... Yeah, we'll save Aunt Aqua for last, shall we? So, that was neat. I mean, I think Aunt Aqua is by far going to be the coolest and hardest fight. I think that's fair. Yes, I love this thing. 30, bar 30 plus bars as well, or... Yep, cool. <laughs> love it, thank you. I love this theme so much. Like, hearing this for the first time was such a mind-blowing feeling. Because, like, it had been so long since we'd had... Oh my gosh, you are not weak. <laughs> so it had been so long since we had had a new Kingdom Hearts game at that point. Um... And to hear, you know, this. Oh, what an amazing feeling. Yeah, you're not going to be easy at all. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, let's have some fun. Yeah, I'm... I'm I should probably actually place myself for Aunt Aqua. I think this is genuinely going to be quite hard. Nice. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, the good thing about like that is there's so many of them, so you're just gonna hit the. Oh Christ! Yeah, no, this is genuinely the Demon Tide is not an easy fight. Like it can it can overwhelm you if you're not prepared. It's been so long since I've like properly played Kingdom Hearts three, just for anything mods or otherwise. So I'm super rusty, and I'm aware of that. <laughs> oh boy, you know what? Let's not take risks. Let's really not.
If you come a little closer, I will annihilate you with a billion lasers. You're currently way over there, so you're making it a little hard. Are you, uh, planning on coming here at all? Now. <laughs> that was kind of cool. I love the guard mechanic in this game. It's so good. Like, I, obviously it's good in the other games as well, but something about it, the guard in Kingdom Hearts 3 is just so much more refined and- Oh, I timed that badly. Um, so much more refined and so much easier to use. Like, the fact that you can, like, s s I stop combos and guard in the air. Like, going back to Kingdom Hearts 2, I genuinely was surprised that you couldn't guard in the air. I'd just forgotten that you couldn't. I was just like, oh, that's not a feature, right. That's not a problem. Like, Kingdom Hearts 2 feels great still, but it's just like, oh man, this feels like- it should have been here earlier, you know. You know, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna take chances. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> Clearly. No, I thought Aunt Aqua was gonna be the problem. I'm genu- I'm genuinely shocked that this has been a challenging, like, even remotely, <laughs> Though, to be fair, like, uh, I used to, like, back when it came out, I used to speedrun 0.2. Uh, it wasn't a good time or anything, I just did it for fun. Um, and, uh, yeah, like that, the final boss, even on beginner, because you're, like, just speeding through it and you don't have potions or, or, uh, or you haven't leveled up at all and stuff, it's still quite challenging. I think that could be said really for any uh, any final boss of um, any of the Kingdom Hearts games, like because you're you're going through at such a low level, it's gonna be hard. So is this? Are we on phase two now? I'm guessing so. Oh boy, my health really took a dip, didn't it? Kill him. <laughs> nice. Worth it. Absolutely worth it. If I can go ultimate, that'd be great. Okay, never mind. Don't need it. This is fine. <laughs> Where'd you go? Come on. Come on out. Release your bulls. I must say this this section of the fight is much easier in a smaller arena where the uh, the whoa <laughs> whoa <laughs> I was gonna say where that's kind of things not happening but no this is just sending me straight up into the air this is kind of awesome like this wasn't expecting this but I like it so eventually you're just gonna let me dive right <laughs> one would hope that was kind of brilliant. Come on, we're so close. There we go. Ah, <laughs> uh, I wasn't expect. I wasn't expecting Zayn not to speak. That was good. All right, where's Luxine? Luxine is over here. Right, here we go. Okay, cool. We do have. Join me in the darkness. We do have custom music at least. All right, plus fourteen bars. Okay. All right, you're just that kind of dodge. Okay, gotcha. I haven't fought you in a long time, so I'm gonna have to remember how. Oh boy, it's not gonna be easy, clearly. This is awesome, though. Always nice to have a harder version of uh, Aunt Aqua. And she, we have to punish her. She, she said some bad things about races, and that's not good. Oh, let's let's go anti versus anti. 
Here's Uncle Sora coming to the fight. Oh boy, that can't be good. Ah! I wish to heal. <laughs> Come on, where are you? Nice, good. It's interesting, I feel like in some ways she's actually slower than in this game, and I think it's because Aqua moves a little slow in 0.2, so she's giving you more time to hit her, because Sora can move so quickly um, at that part of the game, but Aqua can't in 0.2, I think that might be why. That would make the most sense. Because yeah, the Keyblade she's using is definitely 0.2. That is fascinating that they changed up the boss fight so much, though. You wouldn't have thought that it would be such a big difference, but playing them side by side, you do notice them. Oh, nice. Yeah, also, Aqua uh, can't do that in the uh, <laughs> original game. Yeah, she teleports a lot more in the final fight, I think. Ow. Yeah, I, I won't take the risk. Nice. Auntie is about to die! Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> yeah, it'd be cool if you could import the room from 0 0.2 where you actually fight her. I presume that's possible, just probably a lot of work. Um, also, probably a very big file. Uh, the uh, the file for these three bosses is like 260 uh, MB, which, you know, not small. Um, importing a room as well has got to be a lot bigger, I would imagine. I mean, I don't work with this stuff, so I have no idea, but I would imagine a whole room is quite, quite large in size. Good game. That was cool. That was really, really cool. Man, I loved this. Thank you so much for making this. This was brilliant. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, this was fantastic. If you want to download it for yourself, a link will be in the description. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you left the like, subscribe, share the video around. I have a Twitch, a Twitter, and a Patreon if you'd like to support me on the channel. But I will see you next time for more mods. Take care. Bye-bye.